You're best with what you've got. Arthur says he's free to hang out tonight. I'm just happy you're dating. Another drink? Tempting. My round. I was gonna hit the gym later. I've got a plan, I kinda have to stick to it. Trust me, I know what a catch you are. Kahu Riddell fell and landed on her wrist. No, no! This is her dad, Edu. He's gang. Then you can't do that. Judge someone with tattoos. You're Oranga Tamariki. Come on, I apply to get the girls into care. There are too many unexplained injuries. Good. It was me! I gave Kahu the black eye. Hey, is Kahu with you? When I got back, Kahu was gone. If anything's happened to her... What? That's on us? No! It's on me! Okay, I have distributed Kahu's description and photo to all staff. Yep. I'm gonna go let half know. Just keep me in the loop, okay? We'll do. Guys, um, I know you don't want our help, but um, you've got it. Lynn too, but we'll talk about that situation later. Right now, Kahu is my focus. <laughs> we have to find her. Yeah. Um, you said she's done this before? Yeah, she took off from school a couple of times. <laughs> she gets in her own head, you know? She just walks out into the road. She goes, oh, Kahu's not in the car park. Does she have any hiding spots that she likes to hide out in? Yeah, at home, yeah. But she's never been here before. It's strangers like you around. We've checked all the wards upstairs and nothing. Um, where drew back in ED? Look, tell Harper I'm helping out here. You can't leave ED. She's stuffed. Look, this is the most... Don't go now. We'll find her. I thought that... You... Look, make it things worse for the family. Go now. We've alerted the police, they're sending officers over, and they're alerting nearby patrol cars. Yeah, we know this hospital inside out. If Kahu is here, we're gonna find her. They should have let us help. I just felt so bad, you told me to watch no, her. it's not your fault. But you still don't think the dad? I don't know. Well, you sound like you got it all on hand? Yeah, I think so. TK's gonna take the lead on the search. Okay, great, keep me posted. And I'm sorry I'm so slammed in ED. No, it's okay, but there is one more thing. Worse than a missing girl. Depends. Our financial projections. What? They're not looking so good. We just got so used to having Bright shine all their money. We what, kind of overspent. How do we do that? <sighs> revolving door of CEOs. We just overlooked it and it kind of slipped through the... Revolving door? Yeah. Mm. We need to find a new source of revenue pronto, otherwise heads will roll. My head. Great. I'll put it on my to-do list. The one you never look at. The one I will start looking at after I've reset this patient's shoulder. Mm. Arthur. Well, you know, sort of. What happened? He collapsed during a gym workout. Is he diabetic? If his blood sugar's get low, him to ED first. Watch that. No, but I think it might be. We'll get some more fluids running and do some blood tests when we get there. Okay, I've got it from here. Button. Hey, let me guess. You want an update on Lydia? Actually, I'm letting it go. I tried to help and I couldn't. You're the doctor for the job. No pressure though. Her condition's worsened. What? Her abdominal pain has intensified and now she's struggling to walk. Why? That doesn't make any sense. Well, we're running some bloods and she's booked in for a CT. So what are you thinking? Well, new symptoms mean starting from scratch. Don't retread old ground, you just waste time. Ahu, I've got this, okay? Do you think she's still in the hospital? No one's found her yet. I should have stood up for Edna and Georgia. Hey. No, I had a jacket on my head. No, honey, this isn't your fault. Well, it feels like it is. Well, because you take everything on your shoulders. It's a bad habit. No, you care, okay? That is not a habit that you want to break. Did you hear that? What? I think there's a bird trapped in here or something. It keeps calling. Lydia? Lean on me. I'm okay. Why don't you push your call button? I can go to the bathroom by myself. Look, I know you don't want my help, but... I don't care. I just want someone to make this stop. Please make this stop. There's still no sign of her. Monique said that they've searched all over the hospital. Poor girl. She must have really wanted to get away from or her dad. she was frightened about being taken away from her uh, family. Kept safe, looked after. Yeah, I know. I did the right thing, okay? Okay. Hey, how are you feeling? Better. My pride, on the other hand, is rapidly circling the drain. I'm not judging. Really? Because if you rolled into my work on a stretcher, semi-conscious... <laughs> Oh, I'm such a lightweight. A little more weight on the bar and next minute. You reckon that's all it was? You pushing yourself too hard? What else would it be? Do you want a list? Low blood sugar, hypotension, a seizure... You really know how to make a guy feel better, huh? Sorry. Doctor's hat. Well, you can take it off now. I'm fine. And wasting a bed, so... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Oh, whoopsie. Just, yeah, back down. There you go. Um, Dawn, this is Arthur. Yes, King Arthur. 
Um, I recognise you from your photo, just as cute in real life. Dawn? No, please, keep going. Sorry, I shouldn't embarrass him anymore, but we will talk soon. <laughs> Sounds good. I just need to whisk Jack away for a second. Don't keep him long. Bloods. Serum protein's way down. Calcium's rock bottom. So he's either way sicker than he looks... Or he's starving himself. Do you hear anything? No, but Edu says she practices bird calls all the time. OK, but maybe it was an actual bird. <sighs> well, what do you want to do now? I think we should split up. We'll cover more ground that way. OK, good luck. You too. See you soon. Yo, you want to grab lunch? I'm going to check on that guy. What, the gym guy? Yeah, see what Jack's found out. OK. What? You know what the docs are like when we hang around asking questions? Oh, I forgot. We'll just grunt whose opinions aren't worth a damn. Oh, that's not what I said. You OK? Yeah. I just meant they get touchy, but you do you. Struggling to walk? It's awful. Oh, poor Lydia. Done a bit of research but and... Rahu, I know, but I can't just... Not now. Maybe you could examine her. Give Marty your opinion. I am the last doctor Lydia wants to see. Besides, the investigation into her complaint is still ongoing. I can't have contact. OK, well, maybe you know someone who could help. Rahu. I was being open and honest. No, you were digging up old dirt to try and score points. Back then, you were unstable. I had a literal brainworm, Drew. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, my head was constantly pounding. All of which I explained in the session. Only after you made me feel like absolute crap, which is not fair. OK. I'm sorry you were upset. That wasn't my intention, but unless we feel <laughs> completely... Great, sorry, not sorry. Open, Great, nice, nice chat, Drew. Papa, you had a parasite? Wow, personal combo, Rahu. I didn't mean to use drop. It's just... Can you tell me about it? The symptoms, I mean? Well, I'm sure you get the gist. Um, headaches, nausea, unexplained pain, dizziness, mood swings. Sounds a lot like my marriage. Go. There you go. You OK? Should I take you back to Mum and Dad? No, 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 They're really worried about no, you. No, 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 no. It's OK, it's no, OK. No, 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 no. Rescue, no, I'm no, just... get out! Hey, hey, I got you this. Cheers. How was your guy, the gym top? I don't know. Oh, you didn't see him? Yeah, I tried to. Jack kicked me out. Oh, rude. Well, maybe he just wanted some private time. I know he knew the guy, right? Uh, no. It's because he's a big shot doctor and he doesn't want to listen to me. OK. You just got to let that go, I suppose. Yeah, just let it go, bro. It's all we do. We all do our bit, man. All right? If we didn't bring him in, he could have been a goner, so... Yeah, but I'm sick of having to just... just hand them over. You saw what happened. Jack wouldn't even let me finish my damn sentence before it's like, nope, get out of here. Go find a new one. That's the job. It doesn't grind your gears, having to just switch it off. Bro, it's all action. What's going on with the patient? What do they need? What's led up to this? And then it's like, stop, see you later. We all got our roles, man. I mean, for me, I like it. Zipping around my best bud, helping people. I mean, it couldn't get any better. OK, well, I'm not saying I don't like those parts of the job. Uh -huh. So what are your thoughts on the guy? Well, I mean, of course I have thoughts. Jeez, it'd probably save the doctor some time if they just bloody listened to us. Well, it sounds like you need to follow up on him. Try again. Well, I'm not going to go in now. Jack's probably still in there with him. Hey, yeah, good. Go tell Jack what you told me. But eat this before you go in, all right? Serious situation on an empty stomach is a bad idea. I'm an Ambo. I know stuff. I'm not hungry. Oh, none of it's on my plan. Carbs are good, you know. Lots of energy. I know what to eat. I know when to eat it. I even write it all down when I'm not bed-bound in hospital. Are you always this strict on your diet? Oh, it's boring. You are way more interesting. So when can I get out of here take you on a real lunch? I need to run a few more tests. Why? How many times a week do you work out? Uh, what's that got to do with anything? Your blood tests. They show you're malnourished. What? That's crazy. No, my diet's on point. Just ask my PT. Are you sure you're sticking to the plan he gave you? Not eating less, working out more? I look after myself. Since when is that wrong? It's not, but, well, it looks like you're hurting yourself. It's important to get enough calories and nutrients to... This is ridiculous. Arthur.
Call yourself a doctor, giving me a hard time when there's people out in your waiting room that, that never leave their couch. Please, we can talk about this. I don't want to see you again. OK, that's fine, but please don't leave. Watch me. Arthur! What? You OK, mate? Hey! How about a bake sale? No, hokey pokey and jelly slice is not going to help us. Oh, jelly slice. Yes, I haven't had a jelly slice in years. Oh, OK. Enough about jelly slice, people. I need ideas and big ones. Uh, um, charge for parking? No, you big fat meanie. No, not for staff. Oh, no, it's it's privately owned. It's got nothing to do with us. <laughs> I need funding, and I need I need an amazing proposal that is just so amazing. <sighs> yeah, the T for two order is going to fund it. Thus, securing Shorten Street's future. Exactly. <sighs> Wait, hang on. Isn't this half his job? OK, I swear, if one more person says that to me... Right, we're here. What's so important? Neurocysticycosis. Tinea solium, tapeworm cysts. Once they're established in the brain, the worms cause a raft of symptoms. Uh, excuse me, do you mind? We're trying to eat. Oh, no, no, no. Carry on. Worming, deworming, it's more usual dinner chat on the farm. Right, OK. So what do you guys think? You can't be serious. It's rare, but it happens. Happened right here. Harper. She got me thinking about it. Lydia's case is almost a carbon copy. This is the longest of long shots. You think it's got merit? Well, it wouldn't take much to confirm it. Blood screening, MRI. Non invasive, quick results. It's got to be worth a try, right? You are asking her first, though, in person. Sorry, I just saw your teeth. It's okay, it's okay. We're chilling here. Now we go. Hey, Kahu. It's Cece, you remember me? No. no. It's okay, you can stay there. No, no, no. Do you notice the rocking? I have her parents in here, though. We were just caught up. What do we do now? Hey, Kahu. Wanna go see your mum? I can bring her to you. You wanna take my hand? I promise I won't let go. OK, we won't let you get lost. We're friendly. What do you do? Tui. Hey, you're the expert. You should go find your dad. I'm sure he'll love that. Awesome. BMI, no blood glucose, syncope. All points to an eating disorder. You know him, right? We've had a couple of dates. You didn't notice anything? You didn't say? Well, we mostly talked about me. Right. That's what he wanted. Sure, whatever you say. I'm at theater two, ready in five, three units, read blood cells. As soon as I scrub him, we're getting started. What happened? Is he OK? CT picked up perforated bowel. He's already septic, so if we don't operate soon, he could die. Oh. Girl, we were so worried. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's OK. Sorry. You're back now, pup. You're safe. Thank you. Uh, there's just something we wanted to talk to you guys about. Uh, girls, shall we go get something to eat? OK. We'll be all right. Come on. What now? Um, when I found Kahu, um, she was showing signs of stimming. Stimming? Is it rocking? When Kahu gets upset? It's just how she copes. Well, we noticed a few other things. Car who's lack of eye contact. Her difficulty with noises, crowded places, uh, her intense focus on one thing. What are you trying to say? They think she has autism. It's a possibility. I can refer you to a developmental no. pediatrician. No. No? With the diagnosis and get the help. No, you don't get to slap a label on her and stick her in the system. Oh, babe, maybe we should just hear her. No, she's Kahu, OK? That's who she is. We love her. 
No diagnosis is going to change that. I think there's something growing inside you. Like a tumour? No. You're not vegan or vegetarian, are you? Why? Sometimes meat products, pork in particular, carry tiny cysts, tapeworm eggs. You think there's one in my stomach? Is that why it hurts so much? Not as such. These cysts don't just stay in the GI tract. They can migrate to other tissues and to your brain. They're in my head? Well, we can run tests to be sure. Yeah, Treat. Uh, so, are you sure, or is this just you clutching at straws? I honestly believe this could be it. The reason for your pain. But we don't know. And if you don't feel comfortable having these tests... I'll do it. You will? I just don't understand. Yeah, well, I do. Your child is your child. It doesn't matter how their brain is wired. Yes, but if it was G or Tilly, I'd do everything I can to get the help they need. Yeah, well, Georgia doesn't think that Kahu needs help. But they're in this mess. And having their child taken away, do you think they're coping? Kahu is who she is, and they love her for who she is. You know, and maybe they're worried that this diagnosis will, like, make her feel like she's not OK. Of course she's OK. Yep, yeah, we know that. But for most people, autism means, like, odd, right. strange, you know, different. No, that's changing. Yeah, sure. But once she's diagnosed, she's going to carry this her whole life. Like, she's going to be judged yep. everywhere. That... But what's a life without help? I know where you're coming from. But this is her parents' decision, not ours. Hey, Arthur, any word? Not yet. Damn it. I feel like I'm losing it. Hey? I might have split up a family called Oranga Tamariki when I shouldn't. Now this, it's just... Hey, you change lives. You make a difference to every patient you work with. The well, same goes for you. Well, glorified taxi service, let's be honest. Oh, bull. The work you do on the roads only lasts, what, 15 minutes? Then it's rinse, repeat. We do what we can, refer them on to the next department, but there's always a voice in the back of your head. What did you miss? There's isn't always hypothetical either. I pack a patient off to at the next ward and they have a heart attack in the corridor. Or a perforated bowel. No way you could have picked that up just by looking at him. Give yourself a break, eh? You seen Marty, Chris? No, but I bet he's glad he hasn't seen you. Lydia agreed to be tested for neurocystic psychosis. Just waiting on the results. But don't get ahead of yourself. I'm not. But if I could help her, just a man. Results are back. And? Big thumbs down, I'm afraid. What? MRI was clear, ran a full panel of bloods, gut flora samples, nothing. You're sure? I'm not doubting your work, I'm just... Disappointed? Embarrassed? Wishing you hadn't got that poor woman's hopes up again? I can't help Lydia. She's being transferred to the chronic pain service. Hopefully the specialist there can help her. You can know when he wakes up. Yeah, sure thing. How'd it go? Jack, now it's probably oh, not the... That's okay. What's wrong? What happened? Let's play how well do we know Arthur. I don't understand. You admitted him. What was the first thing you did? A physical exam, took his medical history. Which was? Fine. No signs of any bowel issue. How about his botched bariatric surgery? What? Someone did a gastric sleeve and made a mess of it. He had a massive anastomotic leak and the sepsis had damaged his bowel and stomach. Will he be OK? No, oh, Jack. Your next day, he'll probably be eating through a tube. Tell me your bright ideas. I think it's best I keep my mouth shut. Hey, don't be so hard on yourself. You've been doing good work. That mighty degree. You went above and beyond. Just because you didn't get it right doesn't make you a bad doctor. Tell me it only happens once. <laughs> it gets easier. But only if you fight this hard every time. Walk away knowing you threw everything at it. Mrs. Smithers. Wow, you're pretty good at that, aren't you? The whole mentoring thing. Hard as it is to believe. I was young once. I know what it's like. Do you enjoy it? Being young. Mentoring. <laughs> uh, I guess. 
Look, I just want to talk to you. George okay? is not interested. I, I know it could be a shock learning that Kahu may have autism. Autism? Oh, you can take a hike. Look, I'm glad that your daughter was found safe and sound. Yeah, no thanks to you. I didn't cause her to run off. Hey, hey drop it. We're here to talk about Kahu. No, we're not. Wait, hang on. You're not going to get her help? Hey, leave it. Georgia and I have made our decision. What is wrong with you? A diagnosis is a good thing. It's a label. A life sentence. Same as these. She'll be judged for it all her life, just like me. Kahu didn't choose these. You did. You think I chose these? You think I wouldn't get these removed in a second if we could afford it? My dad, all my rallies were in the gang. When you're born into it, you don't get to choose. And when I finally get out, I want to put up with people like you judging me every single day. I'm not judging you. Bullshit! You're as prejudiced as they come! Yeah, well, I have a good reason. It's pricks like you that killed my brother. I'm sorry. You see me and these and think I'm some criminal that beat up his kids. You see some patched thug that could have killed your brother. But it wasn't me. I didn't take your bro away from you. You know, and the worst part is, you think you know. You think you're all schooled up on what our life's like because some gang killed your bro. Well, some gang killed my bro and my sister and my dad, and I had to fight like anything to get out so that my kids don't have to watch their dad die like that. So they can live free from all that crap. But instead, they get to watch people like you judge me. They get to worry that you'll take them away from me because all you see is these. You think you hate gangs. Try being in one. Jack. Jack.